thought for the day. Your success will be determined by your confidence and your resilience. Welcome to 7 Minutes for Yourself. I'm Christina Ina, and I'm so glad you've joined me for what I believe will be 7 of the most enriching minutes of your day. Let's take this time to reconnect with ourselves and improve our well-being. In today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself, we discuss how our body language is directly connected to our self-confidence. Have a listen. Three primary ways that you can create self-confidence at any moment in time to get the most out of yourself and produce the results you really want. Approach number one you're familiar with, it's called physiology. You've got to remember that any feeling you've ever had in your body, whether it be fear, anxiety, concern, depression, frustration, or ecstasy, power, unstoppability, confidence, success, those emotions, any emotion you feel comes from the way you use your physical body. The only way you can feel anything is by the way you move, the way you breathe, your facial expressions. So if you're not feeling confident, you don't have to intellectually try and pump yourself up because it doesn't always work. I'm sure you've tried at times to go, well, I need to be confident. I know I should be confident, but you're still not there. Well, let me tell you, the quickest way to get confident is to change your physiology radically. Listen, in our seminars around the country, those Unleash the Power Within programs, we take people through a first evening we call Fear into Power. And it's an experience where we get you to change your conditioning and feel totally confident in an area you'd normally be totally afraid of. So at the broadcast site, we use a firewalk experience where everyone walks across the fire between 1,200 and 2,000 degrees burning hot coals. And in the theaters, we have people actually learn how to break through wood, karate style, and they do it in about 15 minutes. And it requires not only confidence, as you might guess, but competence to do something that most people take two or three years to learn how to do in a few minutes. Now, the purpose of this is to get people in a state of being totally strong and confident, even though they were totally afraid, lacking confidence only moments before. Let me tell you something. To get yourself across a bed of burning hot coals or to smash through some wood, even though you might be tiny and small and the wood is much bigger than you've ever done before, i got to tell you something. To do that, you've got to make a major change in your state. Major. Now, let me tell you how we do that. The number one way we do this is we get people to move their bodies with a level of intensity and power that they've probably never experienced before. Remember, earlier in these tapes, I said to you that emotion is created by motion. The way you move your body physically, the way you breathe, your facial expressions, instantly affects your emotional state, the way you feel, and the way you think. So if you need confidence, you must move in a confident way. You must literally put yourself at level 10 or above. You remember those conversations? So what I do with people is literally, I'll take somebody who comes up to the fire and they go, oh gosh, I really don't think I could do this. And I say, and I couldn't do it either if I talk like you right now. Stand up. Breathe strong. Take a huge deep breath in. Blow it out hard. What I want you to do is say the word yes. And they go, yes. I said, no, no. Say yes. And I have them yell. They go, yes. Say it again. Yes. And pretty soon they feel incredibly strong. And I say, walk. And they go, okay. <laughs> And it's like instantly. A moment ago, they were totally afraid. Now they have the confidence to do it. The only difference was changing their state of mind and emotion by changing the way they're using their body. But I do it radically. Major explosive changes. In other words, if I was going to make a gesture, I wouldn't just like reach my hand out toward you. I'd snap it out there. That's the kind of state of confidence I'm talking about. Are you following me? In other words, you've got to move deliberately as if you are absolutely, totally in control. You know you can create any result you want. If you meet someone who's confident, you know it before they open their mouth, don't you? Can't you tell by the way they move, by the way they speak? I, listen, what if when you turn these tapes on, I, I said, um, well, uh, uh, I want to thank you for listening. Um, I'm um, um, uh, Tony Robbins, and um, I want to share with you over the next um, 30 days um, how you could have, um, well, you know, um, absolute, total um, self-confidence. You go, get rid of this guy. What am I doing? What's going on here? Who is this guy? Is he on drugs? What's the deal? 
See, the bottom line is I communicate rapidly because I'm confident. Is that I'm competent? No, confident. That's what I'm talking about. Hopefully I'm competent too. But the bottom line is I'm just letting it go. Out of that state of confidence, though, ideas pop up. This whole set of tapes have been designed to help you get results without limits. I didn't sit here and say, okay, now I'm going to say this. And then I'll say that. And then I'll put it in this order. I want you and I to have a relationship that moves you. This whole set of programs comes from my ability to say, I'm confident, I know I can reach this person. If I didn't believe that, you and I couldn't have this conversation right now. But sometimes I don't feel confident. Sometimes I don't feel like I know what I'm going to say next. Have you ever been there? What I do at that time is act as if I know what I'm doing, which is a useful approach. Now you might say, well, you're teaching people to be confident but not competent. I got news for you. If you're confident enough, you can develop the competence. But if you're competent and you don't have confidence, you'll never succeed. There are many competent people who could accomplish incredible results, but they're missing the confidence. Am I suggesting to you to be foolhardy? No. What I'm suggesting to you is learn how to turn on the confidence rapidly. Use enough of it to learn what you need to know to be competent and effective and produce the results. But you'd be surprised how much more you know than you realize if you really get yourself in the right state of mind. Does that make sense? Try it. Try moving your body in a confident way. In fact, try it right now. Please stand up. Again, if you're in the car, it'll be a little bit more difficult. But, oh, no, 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 don't sit back down. Some of you started to stand up and you sat back down. Don't do that. I'm there. I'm watching. I'm telling you. Stand up, and what I want you to do is just try something. Stand the way you'd be standing if you felt unstoppably confident. Breathe the way you'd be breathing if you felt unstoppably confident. Really go for it. Put the kind of expression on your face like you'd have if you were unstoppably confident. And make some gestures. Actually, move your hands out with some power as if you're trying to make a point with real power and where you know that what you're going to say is going to be effective. And just notice how that feels. Say something. Say yes in the tone of voice of somebody who is totally confident. Don't go, yes, 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 yes. Yes! with some power and just feel how it feels in your body. Get a sense of it. Turn on more intensity than you would normally use with another person. Just feel it in your body so you feel what it's like. You want to be able to turn it on just by turning your body on. This is critical. With this as a power, you can go from being afraid to strong in a matter of moments. That concludes today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts. Today and every day with your kiddo is a gift. Enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in.